all right guys time to install a new spoiler i got the common ss spoiler the one with the three little stands each stand has two bolts underneath and it looks like we gotta pry them off we'll pop them off and then we gotta take this off because there's two bolts underneath and then right here so we'll get to that these are some of the tools on the top of my head i'm gonna need the heat gun for the double-sided tape that's on there and then of course this erase wheel or eraser adhesive wheel is by 3m works beautiful you don't got to take no goo gone no goof off none of that it'll take care of that and then of course a little pry tool and a common tool set and this is for the main thing the spoiler i order in october and it's already in march it took a while to get it it's like Anvil carbon fiber steam notch for the notch. There you go. Woo! And of course, can't do it without a monster. Alright, guys, there's seven tree clips all around here. Makes it easy when you have this tool right here. Easy breezy. Then you have these little garments here that you don't need anything to pry them out. Remember, not the side one the two here not this one because it's a blank hole and then easy, it's easy like this guys just that's it and the bolts are there it's a 10 mil the infamous 10 mil and then also right here guys just pull it it comes off and then after this this will come off by itself just be careful because you got to unlatch that also guys when you guys take out these bolts Make sure you have a magnet handy dandy because look, the first bolt I took out fell in there. And it's hard without a magnet to get it out. And also, there's two in here, guys. So you'll need the little 10 mil instead of the deep socket one. But we're getting there. And for anybody that's interested, mine's a 1SS and it has a little backing plating so it could support the Z01 1LE wing. All right, guys, so I loosened them all up, but I didn't take these all the way, the ones on the bottom. So like that, when you pull it off, because it has double-sided tape right here, you don't want it to pop off and it comes back down. He's going to scratch it. So that's what I did. I removed all of these, though. These two, the top one and the bottom one, and the same thing over here. So now, let's heat it up and let's pry on it. And just like, like that, guys, I heat it up probably for maybe three four seconds as i was pulling side to side and look it has a center little clip if you guys can see it but there you go that's one side two more to go guys and just like that guys it's off and look this one's still a little warm so you see it comes off almost in one piece it's all right you see not that bad the rest will be taken off by the eraser wheel let's do this thing maybe i should go with the base model look kind of like it all right guys this is what maybe like 30 seconds with the eraser wheel clearing up look easy peasy guys it's already coming up we'll check back in when it's all clean i might have to wax it or probably use something because there's dirt on it from over time that sit around the little stands for the spoiler but we'll knock it out all right guys so after I took out the spoiler, I used the eraser wheel and it took most of the adhesive off, right? Then after that, I clayed it. I clayed the whole trunk lid, might as well as I'm here, right? Then I put two layers of wax. Oh, I'm sorry, before the wax and clay, I got cotton swab with alcohol. Just easy home items that everybody should have. You go around them, took it off to me. It looks like the paint came off on it, but it's all right. I'll throw some some bed liner paint or something on here dab it on here make sure it doesn't rust on me but i think it looks pretty good got it nice and clean same thing happened on this one for some reason the edges were way more stuck than the middle one the middle one just had a little patch this the patch was like all of this right here but we're good pretty nice now to install the new spoiler these are the items the clay instant detailer og chemical guy cherry wax pad and then two clean microfabric towels all right guys i size it up fits perfect let's just send these little 
well, I wouldn't say double-sided tape or anything like that, but it has like a felt part on top and then it sticks on the bottom. So you put it on the hose, so like that, the bowls don't scratch your paint. Already got these, just need one more. They look like, they look like this basically. You peel the back of it and put it on there. And then after that, they have these little, like button looking like stickies pads i guess like little spacers or like that you put them on the edge of it like that it won't scratch your paint but it looks good to me all right guys install the spoiler the only issue was the two bolt holes in the middle didn't line up at all but it doesn't move so we'll see how long that lasts i gotta do some pulls <laughs> looks good no gaps